Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to password protect a removable disk, whether it be a flash drive or an external hard drive. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is open up our removable disk. And if you have any files in here, you might want to back them up before we start doing this. So once you've done that, you're going to want to create a new folder. And I'm going to name mine test and you're going to want to move all of your files that you want password protected into that folder. And then the next step you're going to want to take is go and open up your command prompt. And then first you need to type in the name of your drive. In my case, it's the G drive. So I'm going to type in G colon and press enter. And then I'm going to type in a trib, A-T-T-R-I-B space, your folder name. So my folder name is test, space, plus S, plus H, press enter. And now you can see that it just went invisible on my removable disk and you can see it's still there because I still have all of this space taken up on it but it's invisible in the actual disk so the next step we're going to take is opening up notepad and I have these instructions in the right hand corner up here um, if I'm going too fast and I'll post them in the description below so basically you can just copy and paste what I put in the description below paste that into notepad and where it says set pass you set this to whatever the password um, that you want your files to be protected by so I'm just gonna do one two three and then where it says start down here you're gonna change that to the file name of that hidden folder so mine was test and now you're going to hit, click file save as and now you can just save this as um, I'm going to save mine as test this is just going to be the batch file that you click on to type in the password and make sure that you're saving it under your removable disk and make sure that instead of .txt it's .bat so it's a batch file and click save so now as you can see it just added it to my removable disk and when I double click on it it's going to ask me for my password and I'm going to type in one two three and as you can see it pops up with all of my apps inside of it so now the problem is when you right click on this someone can just hit edit and they can actually see your password so in order to get that so it can't do that we're going to open up our browser and install this batch to exe converter I'll post the link in the description below and once you have that downloaded you're going to want to drag the executable file for that into your removable disk and you're going to want to open it and now under batch file you're going to choose your batch file you put in your removable disk and you just want it to save as the same thing press compile and then we can hit exit and now it created an application like an executable file instead of a batch file and when you right click on that as you can see you can't edit the text so nobody can see what your actual password is and when we double click on that it comes up and you enter your password again and it will bring you to your files in your removable disk and then you can delete the test one and the batch to exe converter and just leave that single application in there and we can double check it again just to make sure and it opened it up and it worked out successfully. Alright guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. 
and if you missed my last two videos, one of them shows how to set up an Apache server on your computer, and the other one shows how to crack a WinRAR password if you don't know it. So be sure to check those out if you want to, and as always, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later.